Climbing rope is your basic attachment to the rock, so you're going to want to make sure that you take good care of it when you get one. I recommend buying a somewhere around a 10.5 millimeter rope. It's going to be your basic rope. This is a dynamic rope, so what that means is if you fall on it, it's going to stretch to absorb the shock from falling. It's good because otherwise you could really injure yourself with a sudden stop. Uh, so your basic knot is going to be the figure eight. And the way you start that, the way I start that, is I make a little loop like this, twist it around one more time, and then take the end through the top of that loop. And you'll see when you pull that out, it makes a figure eight. That's why they call it a figure eight. So then, now that the knot's set up, you take your loose end, and you're going to thread it through your harness, through both the leg loops and the top. Some harnesses have only a top, so that's fine too. But if you have both leg loops and this, you're just going to go through both. And then what you're going to do is you're going to follow the knot around. So that means you're going to take this, following the rope, it goes in, comes back out, okay, continues to follow it, you can see how that's matching up the whole way around, comes behind again, and then one more time through. With this tied this way, there's no way that knot's going to come out. What you can do is what's called dressing a knot, just make it look pretty so it all fits together nicely. So you got two coming in, two coming out, still looks like a figure eight everywhere. That's what you want to look for. And there's one more, when you, when you have your end, you want about five to seven inches here left over. What you can do is called a sport back. You're going to see where these two come over these two lines and just tuck it back in there. It doesn't have to be tight, it just keeps it out of your way and makes it easier to untie later. You can just pull this out later.